hello and welcome to another balloon tutorial in isolation featuring me, Rupert Appleyard. Now guys, I have to say, <laughs> I was a bit torn this week as to what to teach you. I mean, I, the idea is I teach you something from my balloon adventures in isolation and I had two things that I thought about today. One of which was a cow and the other one of which was a motorbike. Uh, that was the two different things that I made in the last two episodes. Well, I was so torn, I decided to combine them and I thought I'd make you a, a motorbike. That's right, look. <laughs> this is what's known as the Kawasaki. Cow. Cow. No, no, no. Anywho. It... <laughs> yeah, this is this cool, isn't it? Yeah, my last episode was called uh, Over the Moon. And it featured a cow with a cow. Ah, here she is. Here she is. You might have seen her. You might have seen her before. <laughs> before. <laughs> she jumped over the moon. And this is what I thought I would teach you. But then as I was, as I was playing, I, I thought of one of my favorite puns, the Kawasaki. And this is what we're actually gonna learn today. Um, if I get time, I will do my best to show you the difference about the, the balloon. But do me a favour, all right? This is YouTube, and YouTube likes those algorithms, not the rhythm of blues, the algorithms. So give me a thumbs up now, and that way YouTube will go, ooh, this is pretty good. And hopefully I'll get a few more subscribers, because I know you've already just subscribed. The sus the sus sus subscribed. I know, you're a nice person, you've done that for me. I've recorded you this tutorial just for you, not for those people over there, just for you. So uh, give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll get twisty. Oh, you've done it, brilliant, let's go. So the first thing you're gonna need is uh, some 646s. Now I pre-inflated today because I've tried this tutorial a couple of times and it took me too long with the inflation and I ran out of time. So I'm gonna try and do this as fast as I can. But before I do anything else, I'm gonna turn this balloon into milk. Are you ready? There, went past your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> past you. No. Past you. Past! First thing we're going to do, we're going to twist a little bubble like that. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to squeeze the air along and I'm going to twist another bubble. About a third of the way along the balloon. Just a bit this. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Make a bad joke. Mess up the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so what's that? Uh, eight finger bubble. Two of those. Uh, and then you're going to squeeze the air down, nice and squishy. Make a small bubble in the end. <laughs> and then we're going to put that bit through the other two. Just roll it through. So effectively, at this stage of the game, we have something that looks like this. Hmm. Turn this into a pinch twist by wrapping the knot around. Not around, not around here. La, 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 la. And you're going to have this. All right. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a um, a brown brown 350. You're going to inflate it. Uh, a little bit, so what's that? Mm, about yay much? Mm, eight, eight fingers? Eight fingers? I'm going to separate into two, make a pinch twist like this, then squeeze the air around and down into another bubble, and then tie that into a pinch twist as well. So effectively, you end up with these. I don't know, what would that be? Just two balloons with a string on it. Ooh, hello. It's the owl again. We're always doing owls. Owl. Owl be there. So you have two bubbles like this. You're then going to find your larger bubble, which will make into the forehead. And feed, feed them through. Feed your two eyes through either, either side. Either, either side, no. That was a calculated risk. <laughs> calculated! No, no. 
just multiply the fun, I suppose. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll stop. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop with the puns. I'll steer away from them over here. Now, the, <laughs> the next thing you're going to need is half of a 350, like this fella here. This is only half of 350, and as you can see, I've left it a little bit long at the end, so it's got a tail. So all I'm going to do is basically make a loop at half of a 350. See, look at this, it saves so much time when I inflate the balloons. I hope you can follow along at home. Hey, listen, if you are having a problem because I've, re I've inflated the balloons before, let me know in the comments. You know, I want to hear from you. And you probably want to be able to hear me. I want to hear from you and I want you to tell me if you're having problems following these because I don't know unless you pass a comment. Actually, if you're not having problems, let me know again. Yeah, that's even better. Or uh, don't, just keep silent, just look. Press that thumb, that's the one. So we're going to take this and we're going to thread it around one of the pinch twists. Probably the one that actually looks like a pinch twist rather than the bubble. A little bit of dancing for you just to keep the energy up. And you should have something that looks <laughs> very strange. <laughs> then you're going to take a 646. Now I've left this fully at its full size so you can see just how long I've inflated it to. Okay. Now the 646. We're only going to use half the balloon, so I'm going to turn that into a loop just like I did with the 350, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. Mmm. I don't know why. Mmm. What a good mmm. Mmm. Like I, like I know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Mmm. The glasses help. Is that my new glasses? They look the same as the old glasses, just these ones really. These ones genuinely are new because my little boy knocked these off their face this morning. I had to go and get another pair. Yay! La 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 la! Quick cut. <laughs> They're so new, they suit me so much more than the other ones did. Okay, so you're going to have a loop a bit like this. Well, hopefully, exactly like this. You're going to then take that. <laughs> Got me hand trapped. I'm going to take that and put that over the same pinch twist that you just attached the bottom jaw to. And now, with a bit of luck, if you wrap that pinch twist around until everything's tight, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, next up. Next up, I'm going to grab a white 160. And the white 160, I'm going to inflate most of the way. So I'm going to leave a four finger tail for the white 160. Burp it. Burp. See me playing football with the cow. It's good, isn't it? Eh? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this right here just to save myself a bit of time again because I'm, I'm running late on it. And you know, I do like to talk. And I know at some point there's going to be a sidetrack going on in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll ambush you. Ham oh no, that joke doesn't work because I haven't told you the rest of it. But listen, if I told you the rest of that joke, that would be really funny. Anyway, sidetrack, and we're eight minutes in already. So I've taken a, a 260 in pink and I've separated it into two small pieces and one larger piece. Mm -hmm. So the two small pieces, I'm going to take one of those. And these are what? Let's see. Four about six to eight fingers long, somewhere in that range. So I'm just going to knot the 260 to the top, or to the bottom, it doesn't really matter, of one of those pieces. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to wrap the tail of the pink piece around and thread it through on itself a couple of times. Make a pinch twist. And just to uh, milkshake it up a bit. <laughs> make myself laugh, that's all that matters. I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to go around the top of this pink section here and make a loop just like that. Okay, and you should have something like this. Squeeze the air down to keep it nice and soft. And at the back of the head, it looks like a bit like a duck. 
<laughs> Should have made it in orange. No. I'm gonna take <laughs> the jokes are bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take the the balloon, I suppose I'll call it a balloon, the 260, and I'm gonna thread this through just the back here of the cow's head. Okay. So it's not actually tied in, it's just resting, like that. And then make another pinch twist over the other side. <laughs> then I make a loop, trying to make it the same size as the other loop. And it should leave me with a scrap of tail, like this. I take that second uh, pink bit, <laughs> the pink bit. Yes, mm. I tie it into the top and basically we're going to reverse what happened on the other ear. So I'll tie it around the pinch twist at the base. And Fred push the pink bit through. And now you've got two ears and a cow head. Looking rather fetching. Woo! Minotaur. Mm. What's yours is my note or <laughs> What do you call a half man, half cow who's going out uh, on his vacation? A mino tourist. Can you tell I just made that up on the spot? I think I like could. <laughs> All right, so we've got pretty much there on the head. We're going to take another. 260. Ooh, actually, we're going to take that third bit of pink first. The third bit of pink. Now, I've just tied it into a little loop to make a tongue. And we're just going to get our pinchy twist again. And just thread that through. He's pretty much there, actually. Right now, though, because he's got no horns, he looks a bit duck-like. And I have to say, I did consider... Uh, where's my motorbike? M motorbike, gone. I did consider, having made my Dragon Racers series, I thought about doing a Farmyard Racers series like this. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Can you think of any fun ones? You could have a Roadhog, like a pig, couldn't you? Uh, oh, I thought you could have a duck, right? The duck would be good, but it'd have to have a big exhaust. <laughs> But my favourite one, though, was the chicken, right? But the problem is I, I decided that chickens don't ride motorbikes. It would have to be a car, you know, because chickens drive chicken coops. I thought I was going to stop the jokes. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take another white uh, 260. And now I'm over this side of the screen. And we're going to inflate it yet again. A four-finger tail, unless I tell you different. Now... Go to the cow's ear, over ear, and wrap the knot around, around that pinch twist. You're going to make a small loop, just big enough for a 260 to be threaded through. And then, you're going to feed this line down this line, <laughs> this 260 down, all the way through, you're going to put it, now there's two ways of doing this, which way should I show you? I've tried it two different ways, and I think I'm going to show you the way, I've done it this way, through here, which seems a bit strange, but if you push it all the way in, you don't really see, so if you want it like that, but it also holds the mouth in position a lot better. And then you bring it up the other side, and you don't really see the white inside, it just holds the jaw in. Interesting. Okay, so you can see I've got the curve going down the eye. I get the same thing over the other side, and it's just resting in there. But it needs to be pushed in, otherwise it destroys the line of the cow's face. 
I'm going to make a second loop. Yeah, there are two ways of doing it. I'm only going to show you one. <laughs> Hope you like. It's free. What did you expect? What are we at? 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, I've got to speed up. All right, so I'm going to take this last bit here. I've got a little bit of scrap. I made my loop big enough, just big enough for the 260 to go through in a minute. And I'm just going to tie that in nice and tight to the other yard and maybe turn it into a pinch twist just to make it look all smart and beautiful like, right? La, 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 la. Oh, not that smart and beautiful. Now the eye, if it's out here, which some people will certainly do, that loses the line of what this is meant to be. This is meant to be the eyelid. So you want the eye just underneath and the balloon pushed back enough that it gives it that curve. This side certainly has got it going on. Okay. Turn the ears around so the pink bits are facing the front. Okay. Next, grab a 260. Now if you're just making the standard cow, and not the advanced cow. <laughs> now if you're making a normal cow, obviously you probably wouldn't want a silver crow, but I'm being cool, so I'm using chrome today. Now the good thing about a chrome balloon is it looks spectacular. <laughs> also it makes good, quick handlebars. So I'm gonna feed the chrome balloon through these two loops at the top. And probably, if we're lucky, that'll pull these two loops in a bit. And we should. That's something that looks like that at the top. Okay. Now, that, I actually did look, believe it or not, I actually did look at cows to see how the heads work with the ears to get that form. And yeah, the, the horns rest on top and slightly to the front. Okay, so we're not going for a realistic looking cow though, we're going for a motorbike cow with handlebars. <laughs> I want you to go along, um, it's about six things. Oh, this is a very soft balloon, okay? And we're gonna shock twist. If you don't know how to shock twist, you, you make it into a corner, and like that, and then you pinch and release. Pinch and release, and hopefully you should get a nice, sharp shock twist. You can do the same thing over the other side. Sorry, not, uh, no, not over the other side yet. Uh, a, a little bit further up, so about a third of the way up there. And that's gonna give you that handlebar shape lightning bolt and then you're going to match it the other way shock twist shock twist shock twist shock twist and you're going to have something that looks a bit like that and that's the head pretty much finished okay so next up we need another 646 <laughs> you stay there little motorbike rider motorbike riding cow we're going to inflate another Another 646. Six. And we're going to leave this one a tail and about four fingers. Make a small bubble in the end. Grab your cowl and you're going to attach this in where that bubble is at the back of the neck. <laughs> Turning into a pinch twist. <laughs> hey, do you know do you, what the cows listen to? Music. <laughs> Who was their favourite classical composer? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. All right, you're gonna go along the cow. You're gonna give him a bit of a neck. It's that eight fingers. And then you're gonna make a little pinch twist. Well, quite a big pinch twist, because it's, it's a 646. You can't make them. <laughs> Don't cut them little with the 646. You should have something like this. Oh yeah, now, because I've got two pinch twists, or a pinch twist and a bubble here, this uh, head is wanting to sit on the side. That's kind of cool you want it to be looking around like that but what you might want to do or you, you might decide against it it's your choice is move one of those two bubbles inside the cheeks of the cow at the bottom and just have the one pinch twist in fact you probably will decide to do that just like i did like that and it just balances him out next up we're going to take a 
no, I did this one. No, we're going to take another 646. Six. You might be wondering why, why I'm using all these 646s. Six six. I'm stuck in isolation. It's hard to get balloons, and I've got a lot of 646s. Six yeah, there you go. This is the real reason. No, the real reason is, in reality, I really like 646s. Six six. I think they make really good balloons. That's actually one of my favorite balloons. If you don't know, this is my favorite balloon because I get to make a huge balloonicorns that are really fast. Uh, yeah, you can make them really quickly on 646. Six. 646s fill a lot of space and not a lot of twisters use them. So you can make yourself look really special in front of a client with one of these fellas. You're going to make a loop, just a basic loop. And all I've done, just so you know, still soft, that much, just a little nipple at the end. Tie the two ends together, big loop. Beautiful! You're going to take that loop. And the knots are going to go in the pitch twist of the other 646. And that's going to make sure it's nice and secure for the future as well. So just twist it around like that. Okay? And we are getting somewhere. How much time have I got? Oh my goodness, nine minutes. Right. Next thing next, I'm going to do this because it makes me laugh, is the udders. Utterly ridiculous. Got to be done. I've just got a balloon, a 350 in pink and I've left quite a long tail, that's about a six finger tail. And I'm just going to make a load of random little loops. Little loops, like this size, it doesn't really matter what size they are. Just make sure there's uh, at least four. Three tends to look a bit worrisome and not so good. And make sure as well that you don't have any really major straps like that. Just break that off. And uh, well, what's that, like a little four petal flower, something along those lines. And it's just going to form the others. It's very quick and easy. We're going to put that in, and what we're going to do with that? Yeah. Ooh, come back here, cow. Oh no, cow. We're going to make a small bubble on this part of six or six. That's the bit that's attached to the neck. Then we're going to just wrap the others in there, the other way. Okay. So I have others. Have them all on the same side if you can. You should end up with something like that. Then, take a 350, oh this isn't 350, this is not the 350 I'm looking for. Yeah. Running out of time, running out of time. I knew I should have been quicker, but I'm running out of time. We're going to make the rear end of the cow now. Ooh, how attractive. <laughs> Another balloon, please. Another 350 in white. I'm going to leave a four to five figure tail. See, I know I have my little side tracks, but imagine if I hadn't bothered to inflate the balloons, I would have been in real trouble now. We're going to take this and we're going to wrap it and make two loops. Two little loops around 646. Six. And we can keep them nice and tight in there if we can. So we make a little bubble. <laughs> a very little bubble. It's going to pop. A little bubble like this. And I'm going to keep the loop nice and tight to the 646. At the rear end, like this. Squeeze the air down. Rinse and repeat. Nice and tight, because cows have that strange shape at the back, right? And that's what you're, you're going for. One slightly smaller than the other, but you know, don't tell the cow, it will get a complex. Okay, this is bit here, the uh, 350, it's going to form the back of the cow. And what it's going to do is you're going to take this bubble and put it into this one at the front of the neck. A tall bubble, put it into the front of the neck. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, hope, I, hope, I hope that makes sense to you. Then you're going to take the others. And hopefully you should still have a little knot here. You're going to tie that knot and wrap it around the others. A few different ways, kind of figure it, figure of eight of it, figure it out of it, figure of eight it. And now we are in a stage where, well, apart from the silver horns, you could go for a cow of either description. You could go for your Kawasaki, like motorbike, or you could do a cow that jumps over the moon. I'm just going to push this head in a little bit. Okay, so all it is now is just the legs. And different legs make different things. What I've done is I've taken just the crown jewels, don't worry about it, it's me British accent. Um, what I've done is I've taken a 16 inch 
Geo, I think they're 16 inches, they could be 18 inches, don't ask me. Uh, I've taken the Geo, Bloss, uh, Geo Donut, uh, in lime green, because it's the only colour I have, it just happens that it works, it looks like it's past yours, past your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to thread a 350 through. Now the 350, whoa, look at that, whoa! Although the 350 is nice and soft, it's actually pretty much fully inflated. And then I'm going to take a aforementioned 350, and I'm going to tie the knots to tie the ends together. So I've passed it under the belly of the cow. You see, yeah. Between that and the 350 that makes the back, <laughs> tie the ends together. It all ends here. There we go. Now I'm going to rotate those ends to the inside of the belly. And then you've got a choice. Now, I think personally, because this is the kind of stupid balloon, you could just leave it friction, just holding it in, but they're going to move about. So I would suggest taking it up to this next section and twisting them around that pinch twist and then taking them back down under the next section. And your first wheel is in place. Now I've got a little bubble here, which I'm going to move, I'm going to move inside. So it's hidden, it all sits nicely. <laughs> There we go. We have the front wheels are on. He's currently a moonicycle. <laughs> a moonicycle. Yeah, yeah. All right. So second time, pre done. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to tie it in it's exactly. The thing. Actually, it's exactly the same. That's why I pre done it. But it gives me a bit of time to talk at the end. Oh, you please. Just tie the two ends together again. And then this end here actually goes <laughs> just the bit you don't want to touch of a cow, right? Twist it around so it sits between the, the cheeks and the udders. And there you are. One. Motorbike. Now, <laughs> Kawasaki is such a great pun. Uh, so that's the Kawasaki. Now listen, if you were going to make, I, I've got enough time to tell you, look, the differences between the cows. Um, there is a slight difference on the head. This was the stage one, this was the stage two, works much better. Uh, but if you were to do the horns in ivory silk, you get a more realistic looking cow colour. I've got uh, chocolate coloured eyes. Chocolate eyes? Mmm, delicious. And look, the feet are pretty much the same thing. Except, all I've done, a couple of pinch twists, I didn't tie the two together obviously, and I've just got two bubbles. So you could probably get, you could probably get all four feet out of one balloon if you're smart and clever and cool. And that, my dears, is a, is a balloon I hope you're over the moon about, right? Now don't forget, I really do put my heart and soul into this YouTube channel right now, whilst this whole lockdown isolation thing's going on, and I want to keep it going afterwards. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need to know that you guys are enjoying it, you're enjoying these tutorials and you're enjoying the content I'm putting out for kids. I'm doing currently doing four videos a week and that's quite a lot of work. So please, please, please do me a favour. Share this, show your friends, share the balloon adventures. They're only two minutes long. Uh, oh, share the fairy tales. The fairy tales are really cool, right? They're long, but they're cool. I write those myself. <laughs> um, and give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Write something in the comments. Say hello. Just say hello and then I know you're there. Yeah, I know I'm not just talking to myself in a camera. <laughs> Making crazy cow bites. <laughs> so, I had a wheelie good time today. I hope you did too. I'll see you again next week. Tuesday for the tutorial. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays for the Balloon Adventures in Isolation. Fridays for Fizzlewitz Fairy Tales. Have a great week. I've been Rupert Appleyard and you are spectacular.